Hello and welcome. This is very useful Pandas functions for everyday data analysis tutorial. And this tutorial, you are going to learn about Pandas STR accessor. Pandas is a highly efficient library on textual data as well. The functions and methods under the STR accessor provide flexible ways to filter rows based on strings. And this tutorial, you are going to answer two basic questions. The first question is, Let's assume your manager needs this list of employee names that the name starts with the letter J or ends with letter N. And the second question is, your manager might be asking you to bring all the employee names that contains the, the letter M and starts with the letter J. As a data scientist, how do you filter the rows from the data frame? To answer this question, we are going to use the most commonly uh, used STR accessors. Thus, functions are starts with, ends with, and contains. We are going to pass the uh, strings into these functions. OK. This is uh, your data frame, the data frame containing name, birth date, and country. You are asked to filter the rows, the name containing, uh, I mean, the name starts with the letter J or in this with letter N. So manually filtering is uh, not advisable because you may have large volumes of uh, data. So it is difficult to filter the rows which contain, uh, which starts with the letter J or in this with letter N. So we are going to apply some functions to filter rows from the data frame, okay. So this status with is very useful. We pass the a string into this function. So it's going to evaluate the name column, the values of the name column, uh, and it's uh, if it is satisfies this uh, condition, it's going to retrieve the rows from that uh, data frame. So we just uh, use data frame name dot column name dot str dot status with and. Uh, this function takes the string or character. So it's going to uh, filter uh, the rows if the name starts with J and or in this with N. So these two functions are very useful to filter uh, rows from data frame. So uh, we, uh, so the result of this uh, uh, logic is either true or false. If the logic is true, it's going to filter the rows from the data frame and combine by or uh, operator and evaluates the second uh, operator, uh, I mean logic. The second logic is the name in this with the letter N. So this uh, result is that the rows that the name starts with J and in this with N. So J starts from J, Jaws, for example, Katie Martin, uh, in this with N, Curry Morgan, in this with N, Janet starts with J uh, later. So this is one way to filter the names or the rows from your data frame. The second question is about uh, contains uh, the character. So the contains function under the SCTR accessor returns the values that contain a given set of characters. The name at least containing one character that's uh, specified into that function going to be retrieved or filtered. So we are going to apply uh, these functions contains data frame dot name dot str dot contains and we pass the character here as a string. The character, if the name contains M, it's going to be filtered across the row. We combine the two uh, logic using org operator. And the second uh, logic is about the name starts with J. So it's going to filter either contains M or starts with J later. So this is what uh, the result is. So uh, 
For example, the first row uh, name contains M character. The second uh, starts with J, okay? The third uh, contains M character and so on. So all the rows going to be filtered, which satisfies these conditions. So those are very useful pandas STR accessor functions for filtering rows based on the strings we provide to the function. Next time I'll bring another topic about data analysis and uh, stay with, with me and subscribe, like, share my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today.